Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now August 30th of 2022, which means we're only getting closer to other TV shows out there like Star Wars Andor, The Bad Batch Season 2, as well as the other TV shows like Tales of the Jedi. Before we get into 2023, that's really going to showcase a lot of other shows out there like Ahsoka and Mando 3. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about the new universe between Favreau, Filoni, and Lucas working together as this team and this trio, if you will, is that there is a lot of work being poured into the new approach to Star Wars. Basically, their end game is to revive a majority of Star Wars legends in the most accurate way as possible. Of course, there's going to be some changes here and there to fit the timeline, but they do have a big plan in place to really keep things as accurate as they can with the highlights of Star Wars legends, the stories such as Dark Empire, the New Jedi Order, Shadows of the Empire, the Thrawn Trilogy, and a whole lot more. And that brings us to where we are today. Now, Jon Favreau has been a lot more talkative recently about his experience with the Star Wars franchise, his overall ambitions, you know, his plans for the future, and exactly what he is very excited about to tell the fans in just a couple of weeks at D23 and Disney Plus Day. And that brings us to where we are now as well, is that... There's a lot of things happening with multiple Star Wars shows in different phases of development. One of which doesn't look so, you know, promising now because, well, it was essentially cancelled by Jon Favreau. And we're going to dive into exactly what Jon Favreau had to say about that, what it all entails, exactly what TV show that is. And yeah, let's get right to this. Now, with Jon Favreau getting ready to evolve Luke Skywalker in The Mandalorian Season 4, this is currently being written right now. However, Dave Filoni has extensive plans on some of the other legacy characters' return in future shows. Now, it's noted, however, that just recently, one of the new Star Wars TV series has been officially cancelled altogether by creator Jon Favreau after it was in limbo for many months and close to a year at this point. Now, Favreau recently just got the talk about this when he was questioned about the show by stating the following to the fans. So, yeah, that project that we were working on unfortunately ran into a lot of trouble and complications that we tried this to save for the last couple of months, but it just wasn't worth our time and energy. Rangers of the New Republic will always be in our hearts because it had such a great story for characters like Luke, the Rebellion, and even the fall of the Empire and how they survived across the galaxy after Episode 6. We had a great vision for, for this show, but we couldn't find a way to market it and we also lost some of the cast that were no longer interested in the series, so it was tough. I recently gave the okay on canceling the show because this is something I, that I had created from the start, like right when I was working on The Mandalorian. I wanted to focus on creating a direct sequel to Return of the Jedi, which is what it really was essentially. So I decided to just do my own thing with Mando of Season 4 and everything else I'm working on right now and decided to call it a day with this series. We had a full script, we wanted to begin filming sometime next year, that was the original plan. Now let me pause quickly here for a second before I get to the next thing that John says. I don't know if you guys were aware about this, but Rangers of the New Republic, it was never fully cancelled. It was like he, how he said, it was in limbo mode, uh, it was just kind of sitting there. It almost had the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, uh, you know, situation where for a long time it was just sitting there, uh, the scripts weren't really finalized 100%. And nothing was really moving forward production-wise, right? No planning for principal photography specifically. Now, John states that they were planning on to begin filming by next year. When next year was left, you know, as a big mystery, they didn't know. Was it going to be summer, spring, winter, who knows? But the thing about this that really strikes me is the fact that this was going to be a show about Luke... The Rebellion, like he says, the fall of the Empire, and more, and how that was really going to give the fans basically a direct sequel to Return of the Jedi. I don't know about you guys, but to me this sounds like it would have been a hit as long as it had great cinematography, as long as it had a great budget where it looked cinematic and movie-like, I think it would have done 
you know, I think it would have done a fantastic job on Disney Plus regardless. So it's just unfortunate that this is where we are right now, where Jon Favreau has to tell the fans that this show is no more, it's not moving forward, they're focusing on bigger and better things like the, Mandal the Mandalorian series and the Ahsoka show, and what kind of spin-offs are going to branch off of those two TV shows as well. Now, moving past this, sorry, this is where things begin to progress even further, and that involves, of course, a lot of what John has to say here, is that he goes on to state, so what me and Dave are going to do right now is that we are going to be taking a lot of parts from that actual series and placing them into others and inserting them into other shows as well, especially the ones that involved Luke. That's what I'm really excited about. We were also going to have Cara Dune by Gina Carano, and what happened to her last year only complicated things also because she was central to the story, along with those like Luke and members of the Rebellion. I have my eyes set on even greater things, though, that I think fans are really going to respect, so I'm happy about that. This story was very elongated. It stretched over a period of months leading to one whole year after episode 6 and leading into a big war that we wanted to show the community. Again, I want to stop here quick. Now, we talked about the leaks about Rangers of the New Republic, how it was going to fixate itself on the Battle of Jakku toward the end of the show. That was their big plan. And, well, basically, it just seemingly confirmed that because he says... This show is going to be based a couple of months after episode 6, leading up to one year slowly into that battle. And you all know what happens one year after the, after the Battle of Endor. You got the Battle of Jakku directly. One year after episode 6 is when the fall of the Empire occurs, officially speaking. So, basically he seemingly confirmed that, and I think that would have been fantastic. The good news is that we can expect to see a lot of that stuff in other Star Wars shows, because he just said before, they're going to be taking some of the key aspects from this show and throwing them into others. Moving on. He goes on to say, which is something that I will be salvaging from the show to be used in another, perhaps in a flashback or something like that. I don't know, but I'm working on it. I'm going to be, it's going to be great. It's just a shame that this show didn't work out for us because we had such great talent attached to it before everything started falling apart. There's a very slim chance that we would get this show to go back in production and start up again, but I'm very doubtful. So that's what he had to say about Rangers of the New Republic. Now, the thing about this that I think a lot of fans need to be aware of is the fact that Gina Carano was going to be one of the main characters, or one of the main actresses as a main character in the show. I think the real reason here, or at least a huge part of it, more so than what John's saying, is that a lot of it had to do with the fact that Gina was let go, and she was fired from Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy at the time, and she was no more with Rangers. And that's when things began to fall apart. John and Dave tried to salvage the show with rewrites and rearranging the script. It wasn't working for them, and that led us to where we are today. So, obviously... John sounds a little disappointed, but he's focusing, like he said, on more ambitious plans of his. So, anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.